Hi, how y'all doing? It is Sunday, the 7th of April. Yep, 2024. I just had to think about the date. Tomorrow's Monday and it's the 8th, right? So yeah. Uh, this guy here on Ontario, Canada is blue. Completely blue. Not a cloud in the sky. So, different. Right? It's warm too. I think it's 14, something like that. Not super windy at all. Right? So that's good. Um, had a great, big, beautiful robin in my tree when I got up in the rising. It was beautiful. I sat there and looked at me for a bit. So yeah. But I see seagulls getting into a fight on the ground. Friggin' wings flapping everywhere. Right? So there's chaos with them for some reason. Hmm. I uh, took the day off yesterday, sat outside with my friend, or invited my friend, a girl, woman, over, right? We sat on my front step and had a couple of drinks together because I knew the energy would be tempting and it would be stronger as we get to Monday. And I want to just be calm and relaxed on Monday and this way. I can do it because I'm not the kind of person that can drink every day or every week or anything like that, right? So I knew it would keep me calm. So I had a good time. It was strange. A man that I met over at the Legion when I was outside having a smoke, a smoke break, right? Uh, drove past, pulled in my driveway, got out, and was like, oh, there you are. And I was like, hi, what are you doing? you know, why are you here kind of thing. He says, oh, I was just driving past and I recognized you and I thought I'd say hi, right? And apologize because the last time at the meat trial, I should have, I didn't know if you had a ride home and I should have offered. And I said, oh, no, I, know, I never go unless I have a ride home, right? Because I won't even have a drink and drive. So he was like, oh, I didn't know that. And he stood there and I offered him a seat and a drink and he didn't want it. He just wanted to chat 3D shit. So I didn't, I changed the conversation real fast, right? So he didn't stay for long. But let's just say that. And then my friend came over and sat with me. And she's my MPC, my NPC, that's what I call her, right? She gives me information all the time. She took the job twice, but she's still a good NPC. She still has good info right that confirms stuff that i know and stuff like this i bounce stuff off of people right and that's how i get my confirmations so i had a, a good visit right other than that i didn't talk to anybody i came in around 6 30 i guess i went out at two and i got in at 6 30 and yeah i had a can of sardines i watched youtube until i went to sleep so i feel better I feel calm and relaxed right so I don't think there's anything like that it's not like I went out and got ripped or nothing right yeah um CERN I've been watching people do videos about CERN oh no they're gonna turn on CERN right bringing all this dark energy right well it's not what you think it is for one thing okay CERN got took over by the White Hats in 2019 and got shut off. And it's still in the hands of the White Hats. Okay? It doesn't do half of the things that they say it does. That's the fear game. Right? It's really good. It works on, on people. You know? Because they don't know. So they become afraid. Because you're afraid of what you don't know. The unknown. So, yeah. Even tarot card reader I watched the other day, two of them confirmed it. Rod Hayes confirmed it. So they can say whatever they want. They're just blowing smoke out their butthole. Okay? That's all that is. And the SPCA, the Humane Society here in Ontario, Canada, are evil AF. All right? My neighbor came. She scared the shit out of me yesterday when I was sitting outside. She walked around the, path, around the corner and I, her, her energy was so dark, right? And I was just like, whoa. And she was like, Teresa. She starts bawling. The energy vampire I told you about, right? Her cat died. He was only four years old. She took him to the vet. And um, 
something wrong with his crystal urine's crystallizing or whatever, and it was he was in a lot of pain. That's the cat I heard crying at one thirty at night. Right? It wasn't outside. It was next door. He was. That's the night he died, or the night before he died. So, um, she took him to the Humane Society, the vet there, and they said that they, it would cost. They could uh, treat him, but it cost three thousand dollars. And she said, well, I don't have $3,000. Uh, can we make a payment plan? And say, nope, but we'll kill him for 200 So they fucking euthanized the cat, right? They are not humane. They Well, maybe they are because humans is a two-legged ape, right? But they're evil. All they care about is almighty dollar. They got to come down. They really do. Horrible, horrible people. Right? If it was me, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Right? That is some fucked up stuff right there. I was pissed off when I heard about that, about, you know, them killing a four-year-old cat instead of letting her pay payments. Ridiculous. They poison it with the rabies shot and everything like that. In the first place, people don't realize animals don't need injections either. The creator source made them perfect. They don't need nothing put in them. But people are stupid and fall for the indoctrination. So that's how that goes. Anyway, so today I heard that cat meowed at three or one thirty-eight or whatever it was woke me up. I did a little manifestation and I did a little talk to source about it, right? And asked for it to be protected. I give it love, honor, and respect. Right? So hopefully I cleared some of its energy before it went, before they killed it the next day. Pathetic people. Stupid people. But yeah. The Schumann today is 41, was 41, and it's down to 20. So, yeah. I felt it. I knew the Schumann was high. My ears buzzing. It's a different ring than what it was before. And it's not as loud, so... That's a good thing. But higher than yesterday. I think yesterday it was died, right? So, yeah, even one of my son's cats threw up earlier, too. But I felt it was a bit because of the energy. So, that's what that is. Everybody thinks that all this terrible stuff's going to happen with the eclipse and shooting three or four, whatever it is, rockets to the moon, right? All this stuff. But what people don't realize is the dark is not in control anymore. They got beat down, okay? The damage you see being done is just their minions. They're powerful. Or they're not powerful. They're wimps, right? They're like the soldier ants or whatever, or not soldier ants, but uh, 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 the slave ants, right? That are sent out to do jobs. They're mindless. They don't they have small minds, right? They can only follow directions, and they don't know that the big guys are gone. So they're just, you know, keeping up their direction, their, you know, following directions. But since 2019, the dark can't manifest anything, right? So let's say they want to have a volcano eruption and devastate this part of the world. Well, it's just going to puff smoke rings kind of thing, right? Let's say they want to have a tsunami to flood out the coastline of a certain country. They ain't going to work. They're only going to get a small flooding into the city, right? It's not going to be what they had planned, right? It's just going to make everything wet. And sure, people will come to harm because that was the dark's plan. That's the little minions, right? But it was nothing like what they were supposed to do. So they must be getting pretty scared, right? That's what it's saying, too, that the uh, unilluminated ones, the non-light uh, beings, are having a really hard time. They're scared, right? They are, so they're pumping out, they're, today and tomorrow is the time of rituals for them too, right? Their sex ritual, their blood ritual, right? Money ritual. But 
I feel I pity them because none of those things will go as they think it will. It's all turned back on them. So they can ritual their little hearts and they're only causing more harm to themselves. It's not going to happen and hurt the good mankind of the realm like it used to because the energy's changed. We're in a different part of space. The dark can't manifest. Okay? So all their threats, it's all just fear porn to get you to give them your louche. Right? So yeah, you gotta remember how they work. They create the problem. Find, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember how that saying goes. Never mind. Right? They cause, the, they create the problem. Then they'll come up with a solution and then they sell it to you and pretend they're the good guys. Right? Yeah. I was watching a, uh, another Chinese movie today, fantasy movie, and the guy crawls. He's in this place. He needs to get out of this place, right? He went down this place to, it's magical, whatever, to find information. He finds the information in a white ape's stomach, right? He operates on him, takes it out. It's a magical, it's a book on, you know, the martial arts that nobody knows. So he learns it. Then he crawls back out of the tunnel, right? And uh, I was like, oh, okay. So he was, he ha he went into the tunnels, right, to get information, hidden information that had been stolen. That sounds familiar with all the tunnels we have under us now, right? It's just that's how they do it. it kind of looks like it's mad, it's mystical, but that's what they what happened, right? And they brought the kung fu back into the to the realm, right? The martial arts book, but he's the only one that knows it, so he'll become the hero of the story. Right? But yeah, this different stuff I pick up on like that. Yeah. Oh well. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, how are you sleeping? Um, eclipse, eclipse energy will cause sleep disturbances. So if you wake up in the middle of the night and start having a hard time, whatever, that's because of what's going on with the moon and the sun. Right? That's the energies. It's just what it is. It's got to move shit around. Yeah, but it's changing our lives. The new moon's about new beginnings, right? So, yeah, bring it on. That's what I say, you know. I'm just going to take it easy tomorrow. I have no plans to do anything. I don't even think I'm going to go outside. You don't have to look at the eclipse. You'll get the energy, same as if you were in a friggin' cave, you know. It's a global thing. So, yeah, it's just an upgrade in consciousness, right? And things that aren't good for you will leave your life. If you don't make them leave, they'll make themselves leave. So, not for your highest best, your highest self, your best self. So it's a good thing. It's change. Change is a good thing. We don't want things to change, stay the same, right? They want things to stay, stay the same, Okay? We don't, and it's not going to stay the same. So they are going to have to suck it up. Give the baby a baba, right? Well, I know, different. All right, I think that's all I got to talk about today. Wasn't sure what I was going to talk about, so I asked Source to give me a, give me words to to talk to you to to tell you, and that's what I came up with. So yeah, all right. Hopefully, I'm in the energy to do a video tomorrow, and we'll see what the topic's going to be. I wish you a happy eclipse. Well, I do, right? It's really important. You probably don't drink alcohol tomorrow, okay? Just absorb the energy. A lot of people fast during an eclipse, too, because it's getting rid of old stuff and bringing on new, right? So it might be good for cleansing your body. Like your bowels and gut and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah. I'm not sure if what I'm going to do that way, if I'm going to eat or not. I haven't decided. I'll just go with my intuition and see how it feels. That's what I always do, right? I'm a meat and potato person. I eat like old school, like how I was raised. No diet crap. 
No trends for me, okay? It's got to be real and basic. So, yeah. All right. That's all for today. I think that's all. I love you all to consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. Bye.